I'm going to basically be going over a quick trade today in which we made zero dollars and zero cents. Uh huh. I'm kidding. Um, I missed the time. This is what I talk about in my other videos when I say, yeah, you know, sometimes I want to make videos for you guys. I want to make more videos for you guys more often. But, you know, I just do things during the day. And then by the time I have time to make a video or by the time like I remember to make a video or by the time I get home, it's like too late because the market resets on Eastern time and I'm on Pacific time. So uh, it's 1030 my time and I came and I missed it. I thought I was actually going to catch it, but yeah, so I still wanted to make the video, though, because obviously I'm here. I'm like, might as well, you know, um, but anyways, we made about, let me just, let's just hop in over here onto the actual uh, things here, because it doesn't really matter to see this anymore, because, you know, what can we do with that, and let me just go over this first before we get into the chart here, so I'm going to actually make this a really quick video. We're going to try and keep the. I'm not, I'm not going to say I can do it in five minutes, but for sure this video will be under 10 minutes. If it's not, then everybody deserves, I deserve for everybody to pretty much just hit the thumbs down video, thumbs down button on the video. But if I do make the 10 minute mark, then I think, you know, we've got to keep it fair. I deserve a thumbs up on it. So a little motivation here. Um, so we're jumping into this trade. I made about a $3,000 profit overnight with less than 3,300 invested. Uh, well, it's not exactly overnight. It's not like I got it right when the market closed and then took the profit as soon as the market opened. Um, I could have done that. It wouldn't have been as big of a profit. It would have been a profit, um, but I held it a couple hours and then I closed it out. It's still overnight to me, but you know, just for the naysayers out there. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a beginner-based video here. I want to kind of focus on the options like I usually like to do and focus on you know making money when the market is dying and the stock market's going down and all that. Um, I always just like to put the emphasis on the fact that people are the majority of the people out in the world are losing their hat. They don't know what they're doing, but the people that know what's going on, obviously, you know, know how to profit from these opportunities. So anyways, um, I had a total of 16 contracts. I started in with my starting position size of 10 at 1221. And then at 1246, I added in an additional six contracts here. So Real quickly, let's figure out what the average price was for all the contracts, and we'll figure out what the total cost of the trade was here, and we'll hop over to the charts real quick. So, 10 contracts, this is going to be an easy calculation. Uh, one is equivalent to 100, as I like to say, so if you see a certain amount of contracts, it's not by $2.10, it's by $210. So, 10 contracts times 210 is $2,100. Very easy calculation there. Now, when I added in, I added in six. It was kind of like an odd number. It wasn't like a nice doubling up your position or anything like that. Um, but I added in six at 197. So what we're going to do is we're just going to calculate this, the six times 197, which is 1,182. And then we're going to add the 2,100 that we had from this. And that gives you $3,282. That was what the total cost of the trade was. That was the initial investment, whatever you want to call it. That's how much money we needed to, needed to have in our account in order to place this trade. So as I always like to say, if you had 3282 we'll just say 3300 for the sake of it. If you, you also had $3,300 and knew what you were doing, you too could have also you know made... $3,000 overnight. Uh, but anyways, let's just finish calculating the profit here real quick, actually. Now, you know what? Let's just go jump to the uh, chart. So this is where I got into the trade. I first started in right here. And then we're going to need to zoom in. A little. I cut the arrow off a little bit. But this is where I got into the 10 contracts. Then as we went, we went a little higher. And we basically started to reject the 200.50 area, saw a few reversal signs and all that. Well, obviously, that's not the only reason I got into the trade. We had plenty of other flashlights going on, too. The whole market was dying. Um, let me show it real quick. Peep it out here. You see? Where am I at? There we go. He, the market just said, nah, I'll see you later, guys. Um, and that was pretty much that. So back to the Facebook guy here. Ah, wrong setting. Sorry there, guys. All right, so this is where I started in. This is where I added in to what my full-size position would have been on this trade. Um, 
like I said, right as I saw, saw that it was rejecting that 200.50 area. And then I held the trade overnight. We opened lower, like the market, the whole market just gapped down. Just, you can see that like, you market straight from right here down to here. And obviously that dragged Facebook with it. And that's why I say, you know, it could have also been a profit overnight. Literally, you could have, woke, you would have woken up to a profit. But, you know, obviously I had a little bit of a different plan, a uh, different profit target. Now, I did get a little greedy on this trade. We're going to talk about that for a second here. Um, initially, I should have been out of the trade by like 196.5 or 197, I think. Um, but anyways, the way I plan my trades is I usually say, okay, I'm going to get in here. And then I'll take my profit there. But some trades, I'll say, I'll be willing to hold a few to see if maybe we can get all the way over there. And this was one of those trades. And the all the way over there was the 195, actually. Um, and I missed it by like eight cents. Now, I'm not going to try and blame it on that. Um, I did get a little greedy. Uh, because I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Even if it did start lingering right here by the 195 area, I would have still tried to hold it a little longer because I was I had a little bit of a bias. You know, I kind of you know I, I mean I've had the bias since the beginning of the week, even on Monday and and you know well if you're part of the chat room and the watch the subscription, you know what I'm talking about. On Monday in the chat room, I even said like, all right guys, I, I have a feeling we're going down. I don't want to form a bias right now already, but I said that before the market opened. I said I want to let things open up a little bit see how they do um and i was also given the notice on the watch list as well i was telling them all right guys it looks like for some reason i seem to have a really negative like bias towards everything and, and i don't like that i want to wait for the action to speak to me uh, but anyways that's, that's just me rambling now giving my you know random heads ups and everything um so that was pretty much the trade i got in right here took the profit right here. So as the value of the stock went down, the value of my puts went up. So you can make money when the market is going down or up. And, I, and this is where I say it's a little bit more beginner based because some people don't know that. A, a lot of people don't know that, by the way. You tell people, yeah, yeah, I made money when the market was going down. They're like, whoa, what do you mean? Uh, you know, like The other day, yesterday in the evening, my neighbor was saying to me, like, oh yeah, you see the market? Hopefully it didn't take too big of a hit. And I'm like, no, no, no. We actually had a fantastic day. Um, and then today as well. And then, you know, so... Um, that's besides the fact I just want to always emphasize making money when the market goes down. It's a possibility. I love when it happens. Um, so let's finish up this trade here. See if I can make that 10 minute mark for you guys. So the total cost of the trade was $3,282. We're going to divide that by 16, the number, the amount of contracts I had to find the average contract price, which was 205. So we're going to do a simple calculation here. Basically, I got in at an average price of 205. And then I sold them all at 395. So 395 minus the 205 is 190. 190. 190 is the profit. That's the difference. 190 times 16. That's $3,040. So the profit was $3,040. The initial investment, the cost of the trade was what? 3,282. Well, like I said, we'll just say 3300 for the sake of simplicity. And that was pretty much that, guys. So I wanted to make sure I meet my time goal here. Obviously, it doesn't show it here, but thankfully, you know, you just follow the trail. Like they say, follow the money. You'll find out everything you want to know. Um, and when they say that in movies. I don't know if that really has anything to do with life. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with life. Here's where the rambling starts, guys. All right, so we got to wrap it up here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to put some links in the description for you guys. You know, peep them out. Do what you got to do with them. You know how you guys... How I always say at the end, you know, subscribe, thumbs up, all the... I'm pretty sure I'm making the 10-minute mark here, so I think I deserve the thumbs up. So anyways, we'll wrap it up here, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. Just make sure you keep up with me on the social medias. Who's Bijan T on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, everything. I don't know what there is. There's like a million different things. Uh, make sure you check out my new YouTube channel. I made a little personal YouTube channel to kind of try and keep things separate. Um, man, well, I'll talk more about my other YouTube channel on my YouTube channel. Just go over there and check it out. I'll put that link in the description, and we're going to stop the rambling here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you all soon.